All right, let's talk about P days, which is the first week of Navy boot camp. Arguably, the roughest week, the roughest week, um, because that is really whenever your transition from being a civilian to being a sailor begins. So uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. I post videos every Friday. Let's get right into it. Yeah, all right so that first night you're gonna go from the meps hotel to the airport or if you're already in great lakes i imagine you just get on the bus to go to boot camp and when you get to boot camp they file you all in you gotta look down don't look at the rdc's in the eyes and just do what they say shut up like just shut up maybe you were smart and you studied your rank of recognition before you went because that way you can know what a chief is um, because typically they have chiefs, they have petty officers uh, all over the place and you gotta, you're gotta you expected to know their ranks like as soon as you get there. It's it's ridiculous, but I mean, they, they will be hard on you if you don't know. So you got to be kind of an overachiever in boot camp if you want to be successful and not get yelled at all the time. I I don't understand why, bro. I had really bad, like, anxiety when I was at boot camp. Like, I was just getting yelled at all the time. I think maybe I was just, like, I was tripping, bro. Because I would see a chief, and if I didn't say their rank, I would freak out. I'd be like, and they would yell, bro. And I just was like, all right, I don't like this. I didn't like feeling that way. So I'd study those rank and recognitions, like, all the time, my boy. I did not. I was not freaking trying to get caught up like that. But that first night, back to what I was saying... They follow, you, they follow you in. Don't step on the flags. If you step on the flag, you are a certified idiot. Don't do it. Just keep your head down. Walk. Set your back down. You're going to stop. Then you're going to get a little phone call. It's going to be like, you have a minute. It's a minute phone call. So call your loved one. Call your recruiter. I call my pops. So, uh, they tell you what to say, but I mean, I kind of I kind of just told him like, oh, like, hey, I made it. Uh, I love you. I got to go. And he's like, best of luck to you fed me to the wolves <laughs> i'm just playing dad i love you this is probably going to be the longest night of your life and you're going to remember it for the rest of your life because it's just going to be one of those days that just never ends so after that mind you the united arrival you typically get there at like midnight midnight to 1 a.m they, they get you there when you're tired so that you can just like start adjusting because they want to put you in high stress environment so that you learn how to adapt the stress pretty quickly. And this is actually going to benefit you when you get out of boot camp because you're going to be able to manage stress a lot easier. Um especially with just normal menial things. Like yeah, I still get kind of tripped out about like new new experiences, but just like the way that I carry myself is it's very much like people don't stress me out as much. And you gotta you gotta learn how to compartmentalize. So if you're if you go in there you be all emotional. You gotta learn how to not think, take things personal if somebody's a jerk to you, anything like that. Because if you start taking things personal, you're already in the wrong mindset for boot camp, and it's gonna be the longest two months of your life, and you're just gonna hate it. So, yeah, after that phone call, you go and you just stand at attention. I remember distinctly, I was standing at attention, just waiting to get my bag, and I was like, <sighs> and this dude's hair was just like in my face, like he had the. He had long hair and it just was like, it kept whipping me. And they had us so close where it was like, I couldn't just back up. So I was just staring at this dude and his hair is just in my face. I'm like, yo, can you move your hair? He's like, yeah. And then he moved his head like slightly and his hair would come back and it kept hitting me. I was like, dude, I hate you. I hate you so much. And then we go, we went and we got our Diddy issues, uh, which is like our items. So you get everything in a sea bag, everything that you might need. Uh, you can go and buy more stuff whenever you get to go to the store. They have this thing called the Next, which is like Walmart, but for Navy boot camp. It's more of like a convenience store, but you can get shampoos. Um, I don't even know. Nail clippers, things like that. Things that you need for boot camp, you can go and get it. I have another video on my channel, so go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. You can go find that video. It says what to buy at the Next during your first visit at Navy boot camp. Something like that. Uh, so go ahead and leave check out that video after this um but you would get your initial items you get your shaving cream things like that and oh man they're mean they are mean they are not playing a lot of these dudes are up at like 3 4 a.m because that was that was the point like you you lose all sense of time 
if you are going to boot camp buy you a watch like please this is my watch that i left with to boot camp my dad my dad actually got it for me as a present um and so it was nice to know what time it was but it, man it was like 2 3 a.m we're doing this this dude was just yelling at us the whole time and like then he threw me off because i just was so like out of it and then i just remember like staring at him just being like yo like what what's going on and then he was like well does anybody have a problem getting naked no all right everybody do you have your clothes I'm like what and then he just started taking off our clothes they started yelling at us take off put on the skivvies so it, skivvies is like underwear so you got to put on the underwear you got to put on the navy clothes that they tell you to put on and then all your old clothes and all your phones and everything that you brought with you goes in this box and it's called a ditty box and all your your entire civilian life is in that box for the next two or three months you put your phone in there you put everything in there your wallet I uh, actually you get to keep your wallet blame my last and you can also keep your uh, phone book and I brought a little notebook so I had a little black book I think I got it right here yeah, so I, I managed to actually keep these two things and throw them in my backpack. I've seen some people sneak books in there. I don't know how, but I mean, I saw somebody with like the Hunger Games in boot camp. I would might advise taking a book, but you know, maybe, maybe you can get away with it. I'm not sure though. But have some integrity. You don't want to start your career off in the Navy on the wrong foot. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to take things in there that you shouldn't be taking i never want to encourage anybody to you know break the rules especially on the internet you know so just do the right thing even when no one's looking have integrity that's what they teach you and then after you get your diddy items i think you just walk around with it it was all of that everything after that kind of feels like a blur and then somehow i ended up getting my hair cut by the dragon lady and if you've been to navy boot camp she is this notorious old asian lady um I actually didn't really have a problem with her. I thought she was all right. Uh, but I, she, she, she's notorious for giving really, really bad haircuts. I don't even want to talk bad about the lady, but you'll probably see her if you're at Navy boot camp. She's been there for years and years and years and years and years. And every sailor has a story about her. <laughs> but yeah, you, you get your hair shaved bald. And if you want to get your hair cut, females, I, I strongly, strongly, strongly advise that you don't go get this haircut because it's awful just roll your hair in a bun man if you want to get short hair get it afterwards or get it before i i i wouldn't wish that haircut upon my worst enemy and like after they cut my hair because all males have to get their hair buzzed so after they cut my hair i just remember like sticking my hand up and it just kept going like there was no hair and i was i was shook for like two weeks and then they took us to the for the to the chow hall right oh my god that was i was so tired when i got that breakfast bro i swear to god i was like trying not to fall asleep rdc is yelling at you everything you don't look at nobody you don't talk to no one just eat your eat your eggs eat your bacon shut up don't talk to anyone just keep your eyes down seriously this is like the best advice i can give you don't try to make friends with nobody at that time just shut up also, they got these uh these milk things. I thought it was ice cream, and I didn't want to get yelled at for getting. But if you got a little cup and it says like chocolate, that's chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is fire in boot camp. Just just one thing. But yeah, after eating, I don't even remember what we did. Like it was just it was all a blur. I I don't even remember anything after that. I just remember getting there, and then you know we get back to the ship somehow. I get my rack. If you're picking a rack, pick a corner rack in the back where not a lot of people can see you, like the RDCs, because man, they are rough. They're rough with you. They do not. They do not want you to, you know, be yourself. They want you to be super boot. So just be super boot. But like, if you're gonna do anything, go in the back corner. Get a corner rack so that like you don't get as much attention paid to you. And then just make sure you're stenciling your stuff. Because you do, you do like, so much stenciling. And it's, like, super menial. And, like, you're kind of going crazy. Because it's like, man, I joined the military to... I joined the military to do all these cool things. And I'm just stenciling it. And I'm learning how to make a bed. 
and all this and nah, I'm folding clothes and I'm crying. Bro, like, they do that so that you learn how to, like, follow orders. Because you can't just... You can't just go from, like, just being a normal person to being, like, directed to just, like, follow orders. So, like, if somebody tells you to do something, like, you got to know how to do it, like, correctly. So, I think that's where a lot of the menial tasks come from. So, that there's a purpose to it. But, like, living living in it, like, man, it sucks. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just not even trying to talk bad about Navy Boot Camp or anything because I appreciate what it's done for me. Like, to, to stress that enough, I can't stress what the Navy has done for me, you know, like, I really appreciate it. Um, and I, I appreciate my experience at boot camp for what it is, but man, <clears throat> all that stenciling, you're going to be bored and you're not going to be able to talk and your knees are going to hurt because you're bent over your stencils and you just got to deal with it, my man. And then for the rest of the week, like you're just in PT gear, you're because you you can't wear the uniform yet you don't wear the uniform until you actually get to the ship because you got to actually make it through p days so you got your head shaved and then you're just doing medical stuff like you're making sure your medical's good you didn't lie about anything you you're not ineligible because if you're ineligible you're just going home you're going to the sep unit you're going to be i heard the sep unit is is a little rough but you're going there and you're going back home. They don't, they don't care. And you're basically wasting your time. If you're going there with like some type of thing that's going to disqualify you immediately and you didn't get a waiver and you knew about it and you didn't tell them, bro, you're going home and you're just wasting your time. So don't even do that. Just get through it. And then you get, you get like, I think you get your first round of shots. We had to get COVID shots. So I got a COVID shot. Um, I got, I got a bunch of things and they also gave me glasses or they, they, they prescribed me glasses so like they had me looking at the thing and it's like oh uh, uh. but and then i learned i learned that my vision was way worse than i thought it was and it was awful um uh, when you get there though just like shut up i i can't stress that enough it's just like it's the first week and the first week is was like an adjustment it's just an adjustment week and then you actually get to the ship and you start training and when you start training it gets a lot more worth it. Like it's still, it's still rough. Like it's still hard mentally, you know, cause it's just, it's just nonstop. Like you're just nonstop working and then you'll get like an hour to, to yourself. But during that first week, you're barely sleeping. So I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even tell you guys to like work out after, after taps, like how I would if you guys were actually at the ship, because like you are just so tired. You're waking up at 3 a.m. to, to be up at 4 you are you are shaving your face you can shower but like you your sleep schedule sleep was the hardest thing for me no doubt but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video if you guys have any stories from p days or boot camp just go ahead and leave them in the comments i want to hear them i like funny stories you know i'm sure everyone else appreciates them too if you guys want to go down into the comments and just read some boot camp stories or you have any questions just put them down there man the more the merrier Anyway, leave a like and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at DeepSide999. Um, I always reply to my messages, so if you guys want to message me independently, you guys can do that as well. Other than that, man, videos coming out every Friday. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Appreciate y'all. For real. Peace.